have you been doing the I'm number one? <laughs> I'm um, number one chant. We're fine. We have. We've been doing We've that chant every chant. morning. It's We've like been a doing mantra. a mantra. <laughs> you know what we are, Jess? Winners. Winners. Pink always said, like, being number one is actually the course, but you just never want to talk about it. You just, it's no. kind of a bit like that thing you don't talk about, but it feels really good. Because you play me like a symphony. Play me till you it's so cool watching um, Australian artists not not stay, you know, within the confines of any idea either. I mean, they're, they're so diverse. Like Iggy Azalea is so different to Five Sauce and Five Sauce is so different to Sia and to us and everyone else. But they're all doing their own thing. They're all writing their own music. They're all getting out there and, and just making their, their impact. It's it's so inspiring. I Amy mean, Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins was a huge mentor during this album process for us. Mm -hmm. He's an incredible songwriter and performer. Um, he, he was... He was great. He was really great. Just in, in helping us come to a place of, especially at the time we were, you know, dealing with a difficult situation with our old label and just helping us take the power back as artists mm. and bringing our focus in. Um, Butch Vig, who produced Nevermind for Nirvana, he's the drummer from Garbage. Um, he was amazing. He offered a lot of, of great help and advice, and we got to do some work with him too, which was amazing. Daniel Johns was that we got to collaborate with him on a few songs, and that was a dream. Just getting to work with that mm. caliber of artist, someone that we grew up just idolizing. Idolizing. Are you like friends with I Courtney Love Cobain? Yeah. Courtney, I lived with her for a week in New York, one crazy week. Um, She's very sweet. She's actually very sweet. I think a lot of people are frightened of her because she's a ballsy chick. Um, she's a fiery woman. And, you know, I'm a huge Hole fan. And, um, yeah, but she's unreal. And it Love was an absolute... That was an honor that yeah. she... Yeah, she was kind of giving us a shout-out like that and love, love the song. You ruined me With that song you wouldn't sing People always ask us so many personal questions and interviews and things like that. And we're always like, you've got our album, just go listen, or our album's coming, just listen to it. Actually, all the answers to all your questions are usually sitting in there, there in our lyrics, in our, on our album. So that's sort of our, our way to, to channel. speak the truth, you know, through music. Speak our truth. I mean, it's usually an incredibly biased truth. It's I mean, not, it's our uh, truth. Yeah, it's our truth. There's two it's sides to every, every situation, but you know, that's the beauty of being a songwriter and a singer is we get to tell us. Self-indulge in our emotions. <laughs>